All right, well, for the second time in a month, a Japanese people woke to the sound of sirens blaring, warning them to take cover. This after North Korea launched another missile that passed over Japanese airspace. ABC's Emily Rao reports the United Nations planning an emergency meeting this afternoon as we learn more about the missile. The warning sirens blaring once again, signaling the latest provocation from North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un. One man saying it's scary after North Korea launched another missile over Japan, the second time in a month, this one believed to be an intermediate range ballistic missile. Find shelter in a uh, basement. North Korea just launched a missile. North Korea launching the missile from the capital of Pyongyang, passing over Japan just 10 minutes later and landing 1,200 miles off the coast of the Japanese island of Hokkaido, traveling 2,300 miles total. The North Korean provocation with the missile uh, launch is unacceptable. The chief of staff of the U.S. Army meeting with the prime minister of Japan, Shinzo Abe. We in the military will do whatever is required to prevent that day from coming. And the South Korean military responding immediately, launching its own missile 150 miles into the Sea of Japan, a precise show of force meant to warn Kim Jong-un that South Korea can target him directly. And Secretary of State Rex Tillerson calling on China and Russia to take direct actions of their own in response. But North Korea is now a global threat, and it requires a global response from all nations. President Trump has yet to make a statement on this situation, but the White House says he has been briefed. That emergency U.N. meeting is set for 3 o'clock this afternoon. Emily Rao, ABC News, Washington.